North Carolina Prepper here. I want to talk about the other day I was saying that you could have your own Wi-Fi network in a shit hits fan situation and use your cell phone to um for communications. And I demonstrated in my previous video something called Wi-Fi talkie and such. And basically what this is uh, is a, a Wi-Fi um, private Wi-Fi network that's independent of the grid or shit fan scenario or whatever. <clears throat> but you need a Wi-Fi for this to work. And you can see my other video for that. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm building a solar powered Wi-Fi uh, backup or a range extender to extend your cameras or whatever on your property or etc. So I got a solar panel here. It's an old Harbor Freight solar panel. Um, it puts out about 24 volts open uh, you know, in 0.08 amps with uh, no load on it. With the load, it puts out about about 12 volts. We'll see how that works with a, with another load of charging these batteries I got. The batteries <coughs> I picked up at Harbor Freight. They're 150 or 1500 milliamp hours each, so that's going to give us 600 milliamp hours. Yeah, of uh, of um, power, which will act as a flywheel when the sun goes down or clouds go over the solar panel or whatever. I'm going to put them in the battery chargers. Now this router, well first off this router runs on, um, or this wireless router runs on 3.3 volts. I put just put batteries in here, regular batteries, and power the router so I know it will work on the uh, 3 volts. Um, and connect it to it and mess around the house and such. So I was going to put one on each side and double my amp hours and wire these in series, or I mean uh, parallel, excuse me. <clears throat> I got the plugs here for the router to the, for the new fittings. I got an antenna. Now, we need to focus here on this router. This is a, um, where are my glasses? This is a Linksys a Compact Wireless G Broadband Router WRT54GC. The C means compact. The other one, the 54G, you can get those on eBay for about 30 bucks. That would have been a better choice, but um, I had this one in the house, so I had to flash the uh, the not the BIOS, the um, flash the router and put a new uh, a new uh, updated ROM on here, which was, took me about a day to do to find the right one, because this one's got a very limited uh, range, and I wanted to make it a repeater, so. <clears throat> it will repeat from my house router out to there, but for the sake of this argument, let's just say you have a router, whatever router you want, and you can go ahead and hook it up and do the same thing I'm doing. Uh, it's got an external antenna, and that's what you actually need for this. I'm going to just screw this one on here, and what I plan to do <coughs> is I'm putting a uh, paint can I bought at uh, Lowe's. Um, it's like five bucks, and the batteries are like five bucks each on sale, so. I get about 15 bucks on this project other than scrap around the house. So let's say this is the bottom of the can. I'm going to actually put the router through it like this. So it'll be sitting there upside down with the antenna pointing out the bottom of the can around the middle. And that way, once I put the, the handle on it like this, I can actually raise this up by throwing a line. Just like you raise the antenna and drag it to the sky. And the antenna will point out the bottom. So, <clears throat> once it's hanging off a tree, or a clear thing, or whatever, it'll look like this, hanging up basically, with the antenna hanging at the bottom up here as a router. And on top of it, I'm going to have the solar panel up there, which is going to sit there, held by the, uh, the handle. So it'll hang like that up on a tree, basically. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build this in a minute. <clears throat> when you do that, and we'll have a Wi-Fi router that'll be recharged by the sun, and um, will run during cloud and sun hours. I don't know how many time it'll give because I don't know what the amp draw on this router is. It says it's two amps, but that'd be an hour, and we got I guess six amps there total, so it should give us three hours of runtime after dark. But and let's assume there's no power going here. Uh, during the day, it'll be sustained by the panel, and when clouds go, it'll be kicking the batteries. But I'm just going to wire it all in together, 
and let's see how this works. Um, I chose the paint can, but you could use a coffee can or anything you want. Um, <clears throat> I specifically did not choose a ammo can because not everybody has those, and they're they're kind of expensive and kind of hard to come by unless you you know travel a ways or order it and pay a lot of money. But everybody has a coffee can, unless you're a fucking savage. Just kidding. No, you, everybody drinks coffee, or you can get a coffee can or number ten can or whatever. But <clears throat> I want it that way. It'd be easy to do maintenance on it by popping it open. What I'll do is I'll get it, I'll seal it all up after I'm done. I'll put some liquid tape on there. This stuff here. Ah, oh, It's liquid tape. It's basically it's it's like a silicon, but it's uh, you know, it's for electric connections, but. Silicone works fine too. I'll make it watertight. I'll throw some dissident in there, the little moisture absorbing packs. And it should be relatively maintenance free once I get it set up. And then, if necessary, I mean, I won't seal the lid. I'll just, I'll just do the compression on that. But if necessary, you could take and um, bring it in house after you're done in the field and recharge the batteries or swap it out or even put bigger batteries in it. More batteries. I just need three volts of batteries at a time. I mean, these, these batteries work just fine in there, but those aren't rechargeable. But you can take it, and like I said, you can just loop it over, you know, I'll throw a string over a tree branch, or over a pole, or whatever you have, and just, you'll basically just hoist it up. And it'll set there and charge, and then, you know, when you're done, recharge it, or use your second set, or whatever. Just use what you've got. Uh, like I said, this one's built from scrap around the house, but it's just a Wi-Fi repeater. Um... And this modem wasn't meant to be a repeater, but it is now because I changed the firmware on it. Um, but you can go to various websites. I'm not getting into the technical details of changing a repeater's firmware, but you can just Google that for your particular repeater. And it'll add a lot of functions that it didn't used to have. And like I said, this is a really old, old modem, so it's not a roll router, so it's not going to lose. Alright, that's the end of part one. and. Part two, I'll get into the actual build.